Today we are making a delicious spaghetti squash pizza casserole. That is the perfect dish to make when you're craving pizza, but you want a healthier option. This recipe is not only gluten-free and dairy-free, but it's also grain-free, low-carb, keto-friendly, and paleo. Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie, and this is where I share easy gluten-free and dairy-free recipes to help you feel your best. I use this type of a real food diet to help manage my autoimmune disease and PCOS. So if you're looking for easy recipes that fit that criteria, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are alerted whenever I upload a new video. So let me tell you a little bit about this casserole recipe. This recipe uses spaghetti squash as the base, and I'm going to show you how to cook a spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot, although you can also cook it in the oven or in the crock pot. And I will link to a couple of different methods below. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cook in the Instant Pot. And then we're going to cut it open and shred the inside. It looks just like spaghetti. And then we'll use the cooked spaghetti squash to make the casserole. And this is a great meal prep recipe too. You can cook the spaghetti squash up to several days in advance and keep the cooked squash in the refrigerator. Or you can actually make the whole casserole up to a few days in advance and then just bake it off when you're ready to eat. This recipe makes about five large servings. It's great for a family and I think you're really gonna love it. It tastes surprisingly like a pizza. So my favorite method for cooking a spaghetti squash is to use the pressure cooker. And the reason why is that the skin can be really hard to cut into. Like if you wanted to cook it in an oven, you would have to cut it in half and then it just feels kind of dangerous to me. So in a pressure cooker or a crock pot, you can cook it whole. And in a pressure cooker, you don't even have to poke holes in it. I know people don't believe me. They think it's going to explode, but it won't, I promise you. So I have one cup of water in my pressure cooker and I have the trivet. So we're just going to put the squash right on top of the trivet. And you do need to make sure that your squash will fit inside. So when you buy a squash, try not to buy one that is longer than you know, too much longer than your hand, otherwise it won't fit inside. But this one fits inside just perfectly. And so I'm just gonna lock on the lid, set this to seal, and we will set the time to 15 minutes at high pressure. And then I will show you how easy it is to cook once it is done in the pressure cooker. Instant pot finished and I let the pressure come down naturally for about 10 minutes. And now we're going to remove the spaghetti squash whoo, from the pot and have to be very careful. And then we're going to use a knife and you can see how easy it is to just cut it in half like this, cut it open. It's really hot still. And then what we're going to do to get the actual spaghetti squash flesh is we want to remove the seeds. Um, or so we can do that. It's easier once it's cooled, you can scoop them out or just kind of move them to the side. And then what we want is this part that's close to the skin. And you just remove that part and put it in a bowl. And you can see it's already started coming apart into these spaghetti squash uh, threads or shreds, whatever you want to call it. And so you just have to continue to do that. We don't want this middle part that's really kind of wet with the seeds. We don't want that part. We want this part here that's close to the skin. And so we'll just continue to do that until we work through the whole squash. It's really easy and I just think this is the easiest way to cook a spaghetti squash. And let me just show you the texture. It really, separates into what looks like little pieces of spaghetti. And that's why it makes it so perfect for this recipe. It's going to taste, it's almost like, it does taste like a pizza, but it also tastes like spaghetti, and it is so delicious. So the steps for making this casserole are that we first need to cook our ground beef and onions that we're going to be mixing together with the spaghetti squash. Um, so we're gonna move over to the stovetop and I'm going to cook 
the beef with the onion and the garlic and i want to also mention that the full recipe with all the measurements is linked below and you'll find it on my blog clean eating kitchen and so let's move over to the stove top so i have my big pan heating up here and i'm going to add my one pound of ground beef and we'll just let it start to brown but i really just want to break it up a little bit at this point while the meat starts to cook we're going to add about a half of a red onion and two cloves of garlic that I have minced. We're gonna add some dried oregano, which will also add to the pizza flavor. We're also going to add some chopped tomatoes. You can also use crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. I hope that you'll agree that this casserole is actually really easy to pull together. At this point, we're going to add the spaghetti squash and then mix it together with the beef and the tomatoes. Now the last ingredient before we add all of this to our casserole dish is we're going to add two eggs. And the eggs are just going to help make the casserole a little bit thicker. And so if you do have an issue with eggs, I mentioned in a previous video that I might be a little bit intolerant to eggs, but I find that if they are cooked through, then I can usually handle them pretty well. Of course, you can leave the eggs out if you like, but again, they just add a little bit of richness and thickness to the casserole. So we don't need to cook the eggs through. We just want to get them mixed in. And now we're going to add everything to our casserole dish. And then once we add everything to our casserole dish, we're going to add some fun toppings to help this look and taste even more like a pizza. And of course, you can feel free to use whatever toppings you like. I'm going to be using pepperoni and olives. But let's get everything into a large casserole dish that I have sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. At this point, we just want to smooth out the casserole a little bit so everything is nice and flat. And you'll notice I did not add any salt and pepper to this, and that's because the pepperoni has so much salty flavor that I really don't think we need to add salt. I have about three and a half ounces of pepperoni here. And now I'm just putting some sliced olives on top, which will also help add to that salty, yummy flavor that you usually get from a pizza. And of course, this is dairy-free too. If you are not dairy-free or if you wanna use some vegan cheese, you could always put some Parmesan on top or some vegan shredded cheese. And now we're going to pop this into our hot oven for about 30 minutes. give it a try. It smells so good. Oh wow. And the texture is great. The spaghetti squash is soft. We have the onion and the beef and the olives. I just have a little bite here. It's really hot. Mmm. Wow. I really hope that your family enjoys this recipe as much as mine does. And I have created a quick start guide for gluten-free and dairy-free eating. And I will link that in the description box below along with this recipe. And I will see you in the next video.